Brazil in five, Venezuela in six, and Mexico will have lane seven. The U.S. have dominated. Because then they've got a real opportunity to race here, and the fastest one or two people might get into the final. Milosevic, Yuri Kissel, and Ryan Cochran, along with Alan Coleman in the water for Canada. Rodriguez leading off for Argentina, Vence for the United States, and Luis Melo for Brazil. The Brazilians are in five, the U.S. in four, Argentina in three, Canada in two. That's where we think the race will come from. And those teams are certainly favored, and they've shared uh, virtually all the medals in the history. Venezuela and Mexico, Puerto Rico having a few medals through the years in Argentina, but the, the favorites certainly are the big, are the big three countries that are here. Uh, in power at, the, at these Pan Am games. Yuri Kissel will swim the second lane for the Canadians. Esteban Paz for Argentina. Ryan Feely for the United States. And Enrique Rodriguez for Brazil. And those second swimmers will come into the water at the end of 200 meters. Each swimmer does 200 meter freestyle. And um, one of the things that everybody needs to know is that you qualify the relay. You don't qualify the people, the personnel, uh, as it is in, in all sports. So the relay gets to go into the final, and you can change all four swimmers if you want and have four entirely different swimmers. The United States used to be able to do that at this competition. There used to be a limit of um, 26 swimmers, male, 26 female, and they would bring a lot of relay alternates. Now you're only allowed to bring 18 swimmers, so the Americans are not, uh, with their depth, still have to only bring 18 they don't have as many swimmers so a lot of these swimmers will swim this and then swim the final u.s in four argentina three brazil in five and that's where the race is right now as they come for the first changeover and kissel gets in for canada pause for argentina feely for the united states rodriguez for mexico all the lead swimmers for the top three countries going 149, which I think was expected by their coaches uh, to keep their teams in the race at this particular point. Well, right now it's lanes four and five, U.S. and Brazil. Canada sitting in third place. 150 meters to go for the swimmers currently in the pool. And it's a good race. This is good because this, this is a long, painful race compared to the 4 by one which is so short, power, and exciting. And this, uh, like the 200-meter freestyle, you've got to judge yourself right what you want to do. And, and when you've got a race like this, it takes a little bit away from the, the self-motivation. You just have to motivate yourself for your teammates and race the other guys. Yuri Kissel in the water for Canada in lane number two. He's off there. He is down in the bottom of that screen. He's a youngster out of Calgary originally now training at the National Center in Vancouver and there are high expectations once he fills out he's still sort of a, a youngster physically and once he fills that six foot five frame out he's known more for his hundred meter freestyle but they're trying to stretch him out into the 200 meter event once Kissel touches the wall Ryan Cochran will come in for Canada are you surprised at that choice by the coaches I, I'm surprised only in the sense that he is what he is the best 200 freestyler in the country but usually he rests up for his bigger competitions there are big races like the 1500 meter free later in the program I guess he feels he can handle both at this meet another touch and changeover coming up Cochran will come in for the Canadians Pereira for Argentina, Bali, Bobby Ballier for the United States, and Kyle Almeida for the Brazilians. Well, Almeida we saw in the 200-meter butterfly last night. He's a former champion in the butterfly. He won it eight years ago at the, at the Pan American Games. Last night he couldn't quite get to the podium, but he's a solid 200-meter freestyle for Brazil. He's in lane number five. The Americans have Bobby Ballier. He was right next to in Almeida in the 200 butterfly last night, so these guys are going head-to-head -head again in the butterfly in the freestyle today, I should say, in the 4 by 2 And, of course, as you said, for Canada, it's Ryan Cochran down at the bottom there. And the Canadian is almost two seconds at this point behind the leading Brazilians and the Americans. Swimming the anchor for the Canadians will be Alan Coleman, Martin Nadich for Argentina, Darian Townsend for the United States, and... Tiago Simon for Brazil. Once these men in the water right now finish their 200 meters. 
And Cochran's trying to make his move on the other two athletes. Very, very strong at this particular point. You gotta remember, Cochran likes the four minute and the 15 minute races. So this is a drop in the bucket at two minutes. He should have a good last length when he takes on the American Boye and the Brazilian Almeida. They're butterflyers. They also like 200 meter distance, but they're not freestyler specialists. Cochran is a freestyle specialist. Oh, did you see him take a quick look underwater there? Canadians have closed the gap and moved up. Cochran has taken the lead for the Canadians. Let's see what Coleman Allen can do for the Canadians in terms of closing this. Remember, this is a heat. No medals at stake here. They come later today. Allen in the water for the Canadians. Townsend in for the Americans. And Simon in for Brazil. This is a bit bizarre for the Brazilians. I'm not quite sure why they're doing this. They have enough athletes that can swim the 200 meter freestyle. This is their breaststroke guy swimming the anchor leg for them. And he's got to try to vie for the medals in the 200 breaststroke tonight. I really, I just, I don't, un I'm, I'm befuddled. I don't understand what the Brazilians are doing. I think maybe they made a mistake here. And he's got to swim the end. They know they're going to qualify anyway. I'm not sure what they're doing. Remember, at stake here are the lane assignments for the final. And right now it is U.S. in front, and they will touch first as they head back up to the pool. Less than 100 meters to go. Well, Darian Townsend is the American lead. Is the American anchorman, 30 years of age, a veteran. He won a gold medal in the 2004 Olympic Games for South Africa. Born and raised in South Africa, moved to the United States to go to school. Fell in love with the United States and stayed there in Arizona, got American citizenship this past 12 months, decided he'd come out of retirement, start swimming for the United States, and that's what he's doing. He's on his first national, second national team for the United States. He's on the short course Worlds this winter. And Coleman Allen has picked up the pace a bit, challenging Darian Townsend. There's Allen on the right, Townsend on the left. There you go, and Coleman Allen giving it a charge. But Darian Townsend is going to touch first for the Americans, and they will have lane four in the final. Canada will have lane five. They finish second in the heat, and now the Brazilian coasting to the wall. Simon Tiago touches, so Brazil finishes third, third in this heat of the men's 200-meter freestyle relay. There's Coleman Allen. Standout, most valuable, most uh, outstanding swimmer in the CIS University Championships a year ago for UBC. Trains at the National Center under Tom Johnson. There's the anchor man for Brazil. He doesn't look too happy that they made him do that, that's for sure. And there's Darian Townsend, a real leader on the American team now. It may be 200 meters, it may not have a lot on the line, but they're still doing good starts, good technique, doing everything that they need to do. The only thing that you, you could make a mistake on here is if you left too early and got your team disqualified, then you wouldn't be in the final. It was really the only critical, critical issue. And these guys all had very safe relay takeovers from what I can see. And they are official, they just put it. Here we go, watch them as the swimmers walk forward, get a little extra momentum, dive into the pool on the exchange. The athletes do protect, do, do, practice those relay takeovers because you can lose a few tenths and in a close race that can be the difference. Townsend on the left, Comanella on the right from Canada as they come in that last turn and now into the touch at the end of this 4x200 freestyle relay. Townsend, the anchor for the United States. What a job he did in Athens. That was one of the great swimming stories at those Olympic Games in Greece. The performance by South Africa in the relay. The U.S.